that someone is have a live-in partner and even have a kids while they are together and she keep asking for money everybody this is Anne, the filipino wonder channel and on this vlog we're going to talk about where to catch or where to find a good filipina in the philippines because there's a lot of stereotypes that a lot of filipina are becoming a westernized personality so they copy through internet or they just heard it through their friends from the other country but let's see or let's talk about this one because i experienced living in the city and currently i'm living now in the province which is my original place there's a lot of youtuber guys said that in this where to find a good filipina is in the province well is it true because there's a lot more of filipina living in cebu filipina used to have being a traditional the way they dress up they, themselves the way they use social media, the way they move, or the way they decide for themselves. They are very traditional, but because of the evolution of this world, of course, that every mind of the people are changes. Like, it's kind of very near to the modernity, right? So that's the reason why there's a lot of stereotypes. So why coming in the Philippines is having hard time for the foreigner to find the you're the one. Well, main reason main reason is that you go to a bar or you go to some clubs that you thought that you can find a good Filipina in there. Well, in fact, that you're meeting them in the bars or a clubs. So it's not all Filipinas, good Filipinas are there in the clubs. Of course, you can find a good Filipina in the church, right? The one that is not club, a clubber or um, it's not the alcohol drinker or it's not that always on the bar what she's doing in the bar of course like she's being alone in there just chilling it's fine yeah ch chilling for herself but if you're gonna delve into it what's her intention going there of course like looking for attentions for some guys or just for um hookups or whatever her reason there so right but it's nothing there's nothing more like to, we can say that all filipina are just up for hook up and not for marriage because there's a lot more of the filipina are looking for a marriage um a person that they can live for their entire life because of my experience guys i was living in cebu city for almost two years two years guys and it was a quiet um distracting for me and not only distracting for me but it's quite a shock for me a shocking phase of my life living in Cebu City for the very first you know when I got out out in the orphanage and remember that I was living in the orphanage where I weren't allowed to use cell phone to have any relationship for any guys as outside of the facilities because we are not allowed and we used to um learn how to become a good woman right so it's not only orphanage who, uh, who is teaching us to become a good woman but also the parent the filipino parents we are always trying our best to become the parents they are always trying their best to become the parents of their child because they don't want to let their kids out of their goals in life and always go to parties and all of those kind of shits that they're doing right now. In Cebu City, guys, it's not every Filipina are difficult to date. Or it's either they are just looking for hookup. Most of them, they are from the province, smallest province of Cebu. Or either outside of Cebu, like from the Maguire or Negros Occidental, Negros Oriental, like that. Somewhere there because... or from Mindanao. Why they choose Cebu? Because there's a lot to offer in Cebu. There's a lot of um, hirings in there which they can have a job and while going well back in their back home, it's hard for them to find a job in there. So they become more jobless. So, and not the reason that 
we hear oh, those kinds of stereotypes we're gonna oh city girl oh you're from Cebu City oh no I'm not up to you right now because I know that you're just looking for hookup or just using me for money and if you think guys they're quite wise in their decision yeah I totally agree with that because there's a lot of people I talk from Cebu also, also that about dating foreigner so they become more wise for themselves and not only wise just for money of course they are wise to choose because to choose to someone that they can leave it because they are looking also for a real love not only for basing of the money right so back here in the province guys yes there's a lot of opportunity for you to find your um the one here in the province uh, girls guys they are actually sh very shy very shy type so they're gonna be you're gonna be having hard time to communicate with them and some of them they are into um dating site but unfortunately they couldn't find they're the one in there so if you want to visit in the philippines just visit to find a filipina from cebu or you know um just roam around cebu and then of course in the own time you can find you're the one not just in cebu but in uh, whatever kind of small town you are in the importance is that you're genuine of your um feelings your intentions because no matter where you are you can always find you're the one because um time and love is unpredictable and we cannot teach our heart to love someone right so i'm not discouraging you guys to um, visit here in the philippines and find your filipina good filipina because i can tell that there's still a lot of good filipina out there that seeking for a real love and not just for money because um i have lots of friends as well guys that they are looking for a foreigner that they can live with and they are not busy only for the ethnicity they're not busy of the age gap but they are always into the uh, the feeling that we gon they were gonna feel for that person. So that's always matter to them. Not because of how you look or how you how's your you know, your skin, either you're black or white. They're always accepted that the importance is your genuine intention to them because they really appreciate we Filipina we truly do appreciate that kind of um, mindset of a guy and we always want a guy that is more um, gentleman and of course we bonus to that is uh, always um, trying themselves to fit I mean to learn our cultures in the Philippines and of course like um, if you already met your Filipina here in the Philippines don't forget to introduce yourself to their family because that is a very big bonus and maybe in the first meeting you were going to bring some groceries or like a kind of food a little bit you know even just a little bit because sometimes it's just um giving them a a you know a bonus for you you know that they can accept here that it means that oh this guy really can provide of my daughter thank you so much everyone and i hope you guys were going to watch this entire video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification so that you're going to be notified every time I'm going to post a new video. And for you to know that I do live almost every day, guys. Uh, if I am not um, going somewhere, of course, I do live. But I'm going somewhere. They're going to be possible that I'm going to do live. And in my live, guys, I answer all different kinds of questions, guys. And I do have different kinds of topics each day. So I hope you guys are going to, going to join on my live stream and we're going to subscribe on my channel. That will gonna be a big help for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my cousin channel, um, Filipina Province, guys. So thank you, thank you so much, everyone, and God bless us all.